Hi everybody, Tex-Mex here. Thanks for joining me for another video. Today we're gonna do a 22 Magnum ammunition test. Uh, I've got a few different, actually I have too many to do in one video, so I'm gonna <laughs> separate it up into two. I decided to group these together and then group these three, uh, mainly because of speed. Uh, all of these are 40 to 50 grain ammunition, well only 150 grain, the Federal, uh, that all range around 1800 feet per second. Uh, these over here are hyper velocity uh, that range around 2200, if not more, about 2250 feet per second so I figured uh, we'll compare these to each other and then shoot these in another short video so I don't make this video too long what I'm gonna do is shoot them uh, I got a target set up down there at a hundred yards we're gonna shoot five rounds of this out of both of these rifles this is a Savage B-22 um, the only difference in this and the stock B-22 well and this is the heavy barreled version is I did change out I put a Boyd stock on here I was trying to squeeze as much accuracy out of this rifle as I could and I thought that the standard stock it came with was not very good so I got this Boyd stock. Uh, I made sure that it was supported here uh, right after the receiver and the rest of this barrel is floating so that did help it get a little little more accurate and the other rifle we're going to use is the CZ 452 uh, I've had this CZ for a long time it's got a loophole scope on there a 10 power uh, the only differences I did to this was I uh, put in a shim on the trigger the sear and uh, changed out the spring so for those of you who who know about 452s and had been buying them for you know the last couple of decades you might remember the yo dave kits that you could get that had uh, different little shims and springs that you could change out and that really improved the trigger quite a bit uh, originally it had a good amount of creep uh, but that shim uh, took all the creep out and the spring made it really really nice and light uh, so this is a great rifle that uh, I've, I've used for quite a bit to hunt. Uh, the different ammunition we're going to be using here is Federal. This is a 50 grain. We got the Norma, a 40 grain. Uh, two CCIs, a Game Point, that's a 40 grain, and a just the Maxi Mag Hollow Point. And then we have uh, Remington, uh, the 40 grain. I think the boxes of this look different now. And an old, old box of Winchester. Uh, this is the Supreme. I don't even know if you can find this anymore. Uh, I think they still make it. I just haven't seen it in quite some while. This is an old box. I don't know if you can see the price tag on there. It says $8.99. So you can imagine how old this was. Uh, the, my 452 liked it. So when I figured that out, I bought about 10 boxes of this. And this is a couple of boxes I still have left. This this one here is I think it's a 34 grain let's see here yeah it's a 34 grain um, so we're gonna compare these we're gonna shoot five rounds out of each of these rifles down there to 100 yards uh, see how well they group and then in the part two video I'll do those three over there uh, I will most likely fast forward as I am firing the uh, rounds down range just to try to keep uh, the length of this video somewhat manageable uh, it's a beautiful day it's it's a little breezy but not too bad uh the i think the gusts are only getting to about seven miles per hour and uh, it stays still between the gusts so i'm just going to make sure to fire my rounds when the when there's no breeze blowing and try to get as precise as i can with both of these rifles so let me get the uh the camera down there at the target set up and start start sending some lead down range well we are going to start off with the uh, winchester supreme 34 grain Let's do it uh, first out of the Savage here, <clears throat> the B-22 Magnum. It's got a Vortex 12-power uh, scope on here. I didn't sight this rifle in for this particular ammunition. So as far as <clears throat> accuracy, we're not trying to see how close it gets to the bullseye because neither of these rifles are necessarily sighted for this particular ammo for any of these particular ammos it's just about how well we're grouping at this distance i'm wondering if maybe i should have done this at 50 yards but let's see here we'll take the first shots and see how we do Low and to the left, interesting. What happened there? Well, the round doesn't have a strike on it, so I may have just not cocked the hammer back correctly. 
So let's put that sucker back in our magazine and try again. And that's five. Okay, now let's try the CZ here. Okay, that's five. And now we're gonna try the Remington 40 grain. Put a little something there in front of my camera because I'm a slight incline well at least my table is I'm not a, really on an incline it's just my table dug into the mud a little bit to the front so <laughs> I think my camera keeps sliding forward every time I fire around so we're gonna start with the savage okay it seems that my savage is hitting a bit to the left I may correct that just to uh, make sure my other rounds are still hitting on target. It's a little bit of an adjustment, probably not enough to make a difference. There we go. And now we'll try the Remington out of the CZ. Let's see how's the camera looking. It's like a get yeah, okay. Okay, seems like the uh, CZ is hitting that one pretty centered. Um, it's there, there is an advantage on the Savage in that it has a 12 uh, power variable vortex scope, although it's a it's the bottom of the line crossfire vortex versus the Very X3 uh, 10 power I have here on the on the CZ the Leupold. Uh, better glass on the Leupold, although the magnification does seem to help. The CZ seems to be hitting a little bit better. But anyway, let's go ahead and move on. Hmm. Well, I guess let's get one of the, well, we already did. No, let's go ahead and try the Maxi Mag. So let me get those loaded up. Okay, now we're gonna do the uh, Maxi Mag 22 hollow point. This is a 40 grain. Uh, I am letting the rifles cool off a bit uh, between shooting the different ammunitions. Uh, I didn't start with a cold bore even with the first shots I, I fired a few rounds out of each before I even started with the with the Winchester Supreme but I let them cool off I'm trying to make sure the rifles are basically at a you know almost ambient temperature before I fire uh, either type of ammo through them so that I'm getting at least uh, I'm giving each ammunition a fair shot as to how they shoot out of uh, of not a cold cold bore but uh, at least a cooled off rifle so starting with the Savage Let's see how it likes this Maxi Mag. Wow, really low. Well, it's a tight group, even though it's hitting them pretty low. That one was low, off the actual target. Okay, it seemed to like that one. And I know why I'm hitting low. Um, if you look here on the stock, I actually had some information of what I had this sighted in for. And I had it sighted in for the, the Hornady, which I think is a 30 grain. So that's why when I'm shooting these uh, heavier rounds, they seem to be hitting much, much lower. But the Savage liked that one. Uh, maybe... Maybe one of the ammunitions I'll have to sight it in for. So now let's move on to the CZ and see how it likes the Maxi Mag. Ugh. I want to say I pulled that shot. I felt it a little bit. Ugh. 
Okay, and I did pull that shot. So I'm going to put more and more around through this. <laughs> Just to make it fair, because I, I felt that shot pull. So I'm going to do five good shots through it. Okay, so we'll call that five good shots with one uh, one flyer. Now i got to move my camera down range uh, to focus on the other targets. And, uh, and then we'll try out the uh, last three uh, last three ammunitions. Now we are moving on to the Norma. Uh, let's see here, 40 grain. Um, I'm interested to see how well this does. I've been very impressed with how Norma uh, 22 long rifle has done out of a lot of my uh, rifles. So let's see how their Magnum does out of my Savage. Okay, uh, and I've noticed that I say okay a lot in watching my videos. I uh, have to be more conscious about what I say, but that was five rounds. Um, uh, full disclosure, I did move the point of impact up on my scope because after I realized I had uh, sided this in for the 30 grain VMAX, or excuse me, Hornady, I'm going to be shooting 50 grain out here in a second. I figured if I didn't raise the point of impact a little bit that uh, it might not even hit on the target paper so i won't see where i'm hitting but uh, norma did okay let's see how well it does out of the cz okay interesting it seemed to group most of them pretty well there was one flyer and i don't feel that i pulled a shot so that was that was a natural flyer so let us move on to, I guess we'll do the game point next. Let me get those loaded up. Next up on the docket is going to be the CCI uh, game point 22. Uh, let's see here. Jacketed, jacketed soft point at 1875 feet per, sec feet per second. Excuse me, 40 grain. Let's see how well it does out of the Savage. Not bad, not bad at all. Let's see here. It's like this. Savage certainly likes the CCIs. Now let's see how the let's see how the CZ reacts to the game point. You know, you wouldn't think that there's a lot of difference between a 12 power and a 10 power, but <laughs> yeah, that at a hundred yards it starts to make a difference when you're aiming at a little tiny red dot. Okay, much different point of impact, but seemed to group them pretty well. So that takes us to our last ammunition here. It's going to be this 50 grain Federal. Never shot it before, so let me get it loaded up. Give the rifles a chance to cool off. Next up will be the Federal Small Game 50 grain. I think this is the first 50 grain. 22 Magnum ammunition I've ever fired out of at least these rifles. It's not a common grain size. Let's see how well it does out of the Savage. Ooh, wow, that's low. I was aiming for the top target, it hit the bottom. Well, let's just fire them all. Let's well, group it them well. <laughs> it's just dropping quite a bit. Yeah, it's grouping them really well. It seemed to open up a little bit there at the end, but not bad. Not bad at all. And I guess if you're trying to go for some larger, well, as large of a game as you can really realistically hunt with a 22 Magnum. It's not bad. It's just obviously for a scope that had been originally sighted for a 30 grain. 50 grain hits much, much differently. Now, I assume this is going to be the same issue with the CZ, so I'm going to aim at the top target with the CZ as well and hope that they hit somewhat different 
than the, than the Savage did. Okay, God, they're all hitting in the same spot. So it's going to be hard. Until I watch the video, it's going to be hard to tell which were which. Okay, wind's picking up. Let me let it die down. Yeah, they're all hitting in the same spot. I think it's grouping them relatively well. Okay, that's five. Let's go grab our target. And here we are with our targets. And I guess just taking a quick glance at them, uh, the thing I've learned is that uh, 22 Magnums are about as finicky as 22 long rifles. So <laughs> the truth is, if you have a good 22 Magnum rifle, you're trying to sight in, uh, you need to do something like this and try to get as many different types of ammunition as you can find, different weights, different uh, brands, and uh, see which one your rifle likes the most. Uh, as far as the ones I shot today, uh, the Winchester did okay. I mean, not great out of the Savage, a little bit better out of the CZ. Um, that was the same with the Remington, you know, okay out of the Savage, uh, uh, significantly better out of the CZ. And, and that's, you know, understanding that the Savage had a magnification advantage. It was a 12 power versus a 10 power. Even with a 10 power, I was hitting better uh, with the CZ with those particular uh, ammunitions uh, than the Savage. Uh, that being said, when it comes to the uh, Maxi Mag here, the 22 hollow point, uh, the Savage really, really liked that. Look at this group. It's almost, I mean, it's its probably about an inch and a half. Uh, the, the, the CZ hated it. <laughs> it hated it. Now, I pulled that shot. I did not pull that shot. And I'm only counting three here. That, that may be two rounds. I'm not certain. The, but either way, you know, it had a, a big flyer here. So I, I just don't think the CZ is that partial to that particular uh, Maxi Mag hollow point. When it comes to the Norma, not as good as I was expecting. Norma 22 long rifle does great out of some of my different rifles, but you know, it, it was about average here as far as comparing it with the Remington. Uh, it looked like the CZ really liked it except for this one flyer and I didn't pull that. So that's a, that's a natural flyer. Uh, so not bad, not bad. Uh, the game point, that's, that one did really, really well. That's the game point, uh, 40 grain. It looks like, well, yeah, if you look here, a nice tight little group with the CZ and a relatively tight little group with the, uh, Savage as well. Uh, now the, the, the kind of, uh, interesting one here was the Federal 50 grain. Obviously I aimed here for both rifles because I was hitting so low. Um, and I'll have to go back and look at the footage and, uh, right now I'll probably put something, uh, stating which ones were which, but I want to say these top ones were the, uh, the Savage and these bottom ones were the CZ. And if I am correct, I'll put that on the screen right now. Uh, that's tight group. Even all of them together is a relatively tight group. So, you know, it's, it's a heavier, it's a heavier, uh, bullet, a 50 grain. It's going to drop a lot faster, but if you're, if you're trying to shoot coyotes or something of that sort, uh, you know, having a heavier bullet may really, really help take them down. So, uh, this is obviously one you would have to sight your rifle in for because, uh, look at the difference between 40 grain and 50 grain, you know, aiming with 40 grain right under the, uh, target aiming with 50 grain. I mean, what is that? Six inches or more. So, so it makes a big difference. Uh, the grain and type of ammo you are using for your rifle. Uh, so th this was a lot of fun. I'm still going to set up the, uh, other three rounds that'll come out here shortly in part two. Uh, but as always, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.